In this video, we will be showing you how to do consistent voices with multiple characters with perfect lip sync. But Grandpa, I thought the voices always change each generation. Not if you have the secret. So you come to me for the secret? Okay, let's jump right into it. So the workflow today is going to be relatively straightforward. The first is we need to create our consistent voices. Secondly, we need to create our scenes that have lip syncs that we can add our voices onto. And then third, we need a good way to combine the voices that we create and the scenes that we direct in one place so that we have consistent control with perfect lip sync the entire time. So let's go ahead and jump right into step one. So the big problem that AI video and AI voices have have in general is that when you rely on just the video to create them, the voices change every single generation. So we need a platform that can create consistent voices as well as allow us to direct emotion so that we can create compelling characters easily all in one UI. To do that, we are going to be working in 11 Labs today. And 11 Labs is my platform of choice for creating audio. It's incredibly cheap. I use a $5 a month plan, and that gives me more than enough credits to do any kind of voice work you would want to do. We're in 11 Labs now. This is the home page. Now, the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create some voices. I'm going to go to my voices tab, and this allows you to search for voices such as things like old man, where this is the old man that I used in the initial intro blasted video games when i was your age i left high school for the tobacco factory <laughs> so it gives you a little preview so you can select and add these to your voices you can have up to 10 voices on the free plan okay so once we have selected our voices the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to text to speech in the playground and this is where we're going to build our scene in the uh, in the audio for it so you'll see here i'm starting with my grandpa werther's the voice i selected in the previous step and i'm going to go ahead and paste my first line into the scene. I'm going to make sure that we're using the 11 V3 model. This is the most advanced model. It has an incredible amount of control that it can give you and you can generate it each step to see how it's going to sound. So I'll hit generate speech and we're going to hear Grandpa Werther's consistent voice. In this video, we will be showing you how to do consistent voices with multiple characters. And Grandpa Werther's voice will always sound like this from the audio and the lines that you give it in this screen. Now next, I'm going to add in my next speaker and I'm going to choose my young boy and I'm going to add in his lines here one of the things that you'll see here is that I've denoted in my tabs here I want him to speed a little bit quickly and I've done that by creating tags and tags work to say I can say happy I can say things like yelling tags are really how you direct the type of emotion that you're looking for here on 11 labs and then I'll hit generate speech and it will create all of our lines with our consistent dialogue so step two is all about creating our scenes so now that we have our consistent voices what we need now is a video platform that will allow us to insert our lines into prompts so that not only can our characters be walking talking fighting but also they will be saying the lines that we put in the prompt that we then can match the output of 11 labs too. now there's two platforms that I think do this better than others and that's vo3 and cling we're gonna look at what it looks like in vo3 today but any platform will work with this given that it can accept dialogue in the prompts so let's go into VO3. I'm going to go to flow is one way to use VO3. You can also use this through Gemini. I'm going to switch to image to video here on the bottom frames to video. And I'm going to select my scene of my grandpa talking to the young boy. And we're going to have a prompt that looks something like this. Also, what's great about being able to insert your lines into these types of platforms is that I can also give it camera directions as well. So I'm gonna say something like, in this scene, the camera is fixed with a 2D anime style. And we'll go ahead and click generate there. Boom, and let's check out how the output was. But Grandpa, I thought the voices always change each generation. Huh. Not if you have. Okay, so moving on to step three, now it's time to combine these two elements together. And we need a way that's going to be flexible that allows us to take an input from something like an 11 labs of our audio files in like an MP3 format and combine that with the video file that we take from VO3 or wherever we create our scene. Now, I wish that as that we've arrived on this last part that I could tell you, hey, here's this awesome tool that does this automatically for you. But sometimes as an AI director, you have to roll 
up your sleeves and do things manually. And that's the secret today. The best way to make sure that you have everything that you want is to use your editing software of choice to combine these two outputs. And I'm going to show you exactly how that works now. So I'm in Adobe Premiere now. That's my editing software of choice. And this is really where we combine those two outputs that we had. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take that initial video file and drag and drop that into my video editing software. Now that's here on my video line. And next I'm going to go and grab that audio from 11 labs and I'm going to match them up just like you see here. Now, once you've done this, what you want to do is first play through the scene to see when the boy's lips start moving. So we can see here, they start moving right there. So therefore I want the audio to start. It's actually a pretty good match right off the bat. And so if we play through this, we can check to see how good does the lip sync match up with our spoken dialogue. But Grandpa, I thought the voices always change each generation. Not if you have... So pretty much perfect in this one scene. And what this really allows us to do is have complete control over what's happening from a visual perspective, as well as what's happening from an audio perspective. And boom, that's how it's done, everyone. This is really how we take controllable, consistent audio and match it with scenes that have perfect lip sync. Some key things to consider as you work with this method is that sometimes the audio and the video isn't going to match up completely. You're going to have pauses that like VO3 or Kling will inject into the scene. When that happens, you may need to go back into 11 11 labs and add more of those tags that we showed to go in and maybe ask for a pause, add some lines for a pause. It's a dynamic process of creating good multi-character interactions, and there's not a one-shot formula to it. If you follow the general formula that I've outlaid here today with a little bit of following the process and then being adaptable and flexible in the editing portion, you're going to be able to create some awesome spoken lines and complex dialogue scenes that set your videos head and shoulders above other creators that simply rely on how the voice sounds in the video generator and are limited by that. If you want to see an example of some of these practices put into place to create some super cool dialogue sequences, go ahead and check out this video where I use the same exact formula to create every single spoken line of dialogue here. And if you're interested in, hey, what are the best platforms to even start creating videos with, go ahead and check out this video here where it's my most recent review of all the latest platforms. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a like on the video and a sub to the channel. And if you've made it this far, I just want to say I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching and being a part of this channel. And there are some super cool videos on the way. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.